with the collapse of the oil embargo to force Iran into a confrontation over the Straits of Hormuz, the US and Israel are looking for another way to get the long-sought war with Iran started, and more to the point, need to make it look like Iran is starting hostilities in order to make it politically and more difficult for Russia and China to support Iran. Now, recall that Israel has a past history of attacking US warships and framing others to trick the US into attacks on Israel's enemies, with the Israeli attack on the USS Liberty, initially blamed on Egypt, as the most well-known example. See, here we have the USS Enterprise, the oldest carrier in the fleet, on her last legs, scheduled to be decommissioned next year. Her name is well known in part because of the Star Trek TV series. Decommissioning a nuclear aircraft carrier is a very expensive process. USS Enterprise is powered by eight nuclear reactors, all of which must be disposed of as nuclear waste material along with all the associated machinery. The US Navy would save a great deal of money, more than the scrap worth of the steel, if USS Enterprise were to be sunk in the Persian Gulf, where the radioactive mess is someone else's problem to deal with. So why send an ancient warship at the end of a useful life into harm's way? The same reason Franklin Roosevelt moved a bunch of obsolete warships from San Diego to Pearl Harbor, while the newer carriers and warships were well away from Hawaii on December the 7th, 1941. Israel has three Dolphin submarines, given to her by Germany. They have been seen transiting the Suez Canal in the past and could well be operating in the Gulf of Oman, even the Persian Gulf by now, lying in wait for a used up and obsolete warship, more useful as a sacrificial lamb and an actual weapon, a ship with American sailors to be attacked as Israel attacked the USS Liberty, then to be blamed on the designated target, Iran by a compliant media. If you agree with this analysis, please post this video everywhere you see this carrier story. If we can make them doubt a false flag will be believed, maybe they'll call it off. Almost looks like a scene from the science fiction movie Minority Report. A New Jersey city is going to start marking people with a red light before they might commit a crime. The police chief in East Orange, William Robinson, is embracing it as the latest pre-crime law enforcement technique. Whereas London have talking cameras, we're about to deploy light projecting cameras, better known as light-based intervention systems. The directed red lights will be attached to existing surveillance cameras and can shoot a light beam a full city block away. If a police officer monitoring one of the city's many high-def cameras sees a crime about to occur, like someone about to get mugged, they will remotely bathe the would-be perpetrator in red light. The message to the criminals is the police are observing you, the police are recording you, and the police are responding. A few years ago, East Orange had one of the worst crime rates in the state as rival Crips and Bloods gangs battled and sold drugs. The city used federal grant money to invest in lots of new technology, which the chief says has brought crime down to the lowest level since the 1960s. Daily policing here is all high-tech. Sensors attached to the top of patrol cars instantly read the license plates of all vehicles the car passes. A monitor shows a picture of the car owner and whether they are on any lists, whether that's a terror watch list or they have an outstanding parking ticket. Every patrol car gets a live feed from all the city's surveillance cameras. You know, we can see what's going on before we actually pull around and get there allowing officers to assess a situation as they approach a potential crime scene. And we can zoom in and 
move the cameras and... Those who live and work here, like barbershop owner Jayad Ali, are happy crime is down. But, he says, it was more than just a technological feat. You know, collectively, with the police department, along with the citizens of East Orange, they work together. And, and it's like, you know, it's like neighborhood watch here. All this police surveillance is troubling to some, like Deborah Jacobs, executive director of the New Jersey chapter of the American Civil Liberties Union. The Fed is buying T-bills, which are worthless, and then issuing money. So the, the trillion dollar debt that everyone's talking about, yes, that hurts. It has to be dealt with immediately, but it's too late. It's too late. The coming 30% inflation rate is going to, what's going to happen in America? You're going to see trucks hijacked on the highway, food trucks. You're going to see chaos in the South, in the Northwest, all over America. No longer will immigration be an issue. No longer will anything else be an issue except the, the worst of times, the worst of American times. And now you can't criticize the federal government without going, disappearing, going to Guantanamo or some like prison. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Global Government News. Today is Wednesday, January 25th, 2012, and I'm Darko. My website is ggnonline.com. Also on YouTube, it's ddarko2012. Check out all the headlines and links. They'll be posted in YouTube's video description. So there you go, folks. I told you all this is going to wrap together. Uh, first video, second video, third video. And um, this is going to be, well, of course, you have the eugenics and the uh, and the pandemics, the bioweapons being released, but this is all going to happen at the same time. You're going to have, like, ships like this, false flags going off, quote, World War III, even though it started in 1945, has been continuing. This We're actually going to see the end of World War III. And... Um, they can do it by what? Israel's going to sink an old clunker, and we're going to blame the U.S. or Iran for it. So then they're going to release the bioweapons. Then they're going to have the food riots at home. And like I said, the elites will have their own little organic farms um, sectioned off with barbed wire like they showed you in that one news video. And they'll have drones uh, flying over protecting it. And you'll have drones flying in people's backyards. Um, if they do have property still and drone bombing them if they're resistors. So this is a reality. I've been talking about this for the past two years now, and you can see it unfolding in front of your very eyes. And it's not just to spook you. It's just to show you that, you know, hey, you, you should have known this was coming if you would have just opened your eyes. So the USS Liberty incident, remember the main. So, yeah, remember the main um, false flag and, um, uh, you know, Pearl Harbor, a day that will live in infamy. And then 9-11, um, let us never forget. These are the same stupid slogans that they shove down your throats and embed in little children's psyche and the re-education camps and on uh, programming in television, uh, which Bill Gates said he doesn't let his children, they don't watch for a reason. And um, they embed that in them to think that this is all just a part of our history. Well, it's not. It's all lies. And it's for a reason. So here you have LAPD join military drills in downtown LA won't disrupt public's daily routines. So just like that video you saw of black helicopters in Boston, it goes in or says joint uh, military training exercises will be held evenings through Thursday, according to the LAPD. They'll be providing support for exercises, which will also be held in other portions of the greater LA area. So they say the exercises are designed to ensure the military's ability to operate in urban environments. Mm, of course, they say <laughs> preparing for upcoming overseas deployments to Iran after they false flag. But in reality, what? Iraq and Afghanistan, those were the preparations to come back in the United States and start shooting Americans. That's what it's for. That's, that's what it was for. But don't worry. Like I said, trust the FDA. Trust the federal government. Because they said here uh, that police said safety precautions will be taken to prevent risk to the general public and military personnel involved. And uh, it's just like the students uh, in the UK where they were actually uh, mimicking a bomb threat or um, a, sh a lone shooter and uh, releasing them out into uh, not telling the parents or anything and scaring the crap out of the children, almost causing seizures in some of them. So uh, maybe that's what this uh, these uh, trains are for, right? With all these tanks that you saw on their military equipment movement near Santa Cruz, California, southbound 119-2012. So maybe it's going there. Someone said Iran, but I... 
doubt that. They're all forest uh, colored. Kind of looks like one of these, right? An uh, HEL fuel tanker. Uh, like right here or rockets and this is of course something I'm going to get into high energy uh, laser directed energy weapons and we have here a media alert military training exercise to take place in and around Boston this is July of last year that was what that video of the black helicopters was uh, of then we have Secretary Napolitano unveils national strategy for global supply chain security oh so see this will tie in what I was saying it says here that the DHS um, has a national strategy for global supply chain security talking about Russell Means attacking food uh, trucks and that uh, I said here they're committed to facilitating legitimate trade and travel uh, while preventing terrorists who see you're gonna be the terrorist you're gonna be like just like I said the um, demolition man the terrorist living underground trying to get uh, just scraps of GMO food from exploiting supply chains protecting transportation systems from attacks and disruptions ie um, disrupting commerce and the elitists they don't like that the global government doesn't like you disrupting commerce and increasing the resilience of global supply chains got to keep that globalization uh, going right so then we have training exercises, startles locals. This, of course, is what, from the Social Security office, freaking old people out as they had SWAT teams, uh, just mimicking just in case what happens when the, uh, when the economy gets bad or the Federal Reserve note of debt uh, goes under. So we saw this uh, news today about uh, a UAV uh, finding pig blood that had been flowing from the packaging plant into the creek and underground pipe. So a Texas UAV enthusiast uses piloted, pilotless aircraft to uncover river. Now, of course, they don't care about your health, so I'm just going to put that out there. They don't give a crap about your health. Otherwise, they stop all the stuff that's going on. So it has nothing to do with that. It's just what? A good news uh drone story for a change so it's a good way to promote drones okay next up chances of central new york drone flights improve as new law allows six national tests that's right i covered this uh, around january 5th 2012 but look at this is the nypd experimenting with drones over the city evidence points towards yes and just wait until these things have tasers they can start tasing people when they're in front of those social security benefits office uh, asking for their benefits right and trying to get fema ration cards they'll have little tasers and then maybe they'll spot a little red light on them and the cops can come and tase them to death and zip tie them and haul them off with a sack over their heads to a black site. So just like the officers in uh, New Jersey where their head were heads uh, held high, mostly minorities, right, and, uh, and fat white women uh, promoting this, right? So you have what? Miami police turned to drones to monitor standoffs from the air. I was going to include this video in there, but I thought they're probably going to just uh, not uh, let this video upload if I do that. So I'll just read it there. They're, now you know Miami's taking the same thing as um, as uh, all the other uh, border states and now New York. So Environmental Crime Task Force partners. So part of the story with the um, with the uh, blood story flowing was was what was Environmental Crime Task Force partners, and that's what a task force in Texas. That, uh, that was a part of that. So these are eco-fascists. But don't worry, they have a truancy task force in Texas as well where um, if your children doesn't go and get experimented on by the re-education camps and sticking them full of vaccines um, for Merck and all them and Bayer, then uh, they're going to kidnap your kids. So they have a task force for that now. X-ray laser fires most powerful beam ever. That's right. Create an X-ray laser that fires more energy with more precise wavelength than the previous model. So catch this crap out. Star Wars Missile Defense Program even floated the idea of X-ray lasers as weapons. The idea was never implemented in parentheses. Well, it's from 2006-2008, high-energy laser-directed energy weapons strapped to the front of an Air Force saying what? Oh, it's science fiction. Ooh. Talking about te Tesla's death ray vaporizing thing. Look at this. Defense Science Board Task Force on Directed Energy Weapons, and this is 2008. These naval weapons are going to impact the future of weapons, and it goes down here. It's a game-changing technology. The weapon has shot down five unmanned aerial vehicles with high-power fiber lasers at China Lake and an experiment. So it does work. So we know about drones the uh, size of birds and that, um, and uh, dragonflies. Meet the CIA's robotic animal agents, Charlie the Spy Fish and Robo the Dragonfly. Let's not forget, when you're trying to steal food, when you have nothing else to lose, DARPA's cheetah bot will be chasing you down uh, as human prey. It's going to eat your flesh. This is a wireless router for your brain, and it shoots lasers, can be used to modify behavior, uh, promote diseases, and even one day force medication. And in Quebec, they begin a $1 billion smart meter project amid health concerns. They compare the emissions are only a fraction of those from microwave oven. And you can check out a University of Columbia's uh, research, which found that you can still get cancer. This is GGN, and I'm Darko. Thank you.